At the beginning of the week, Stuart's checking account had a balance of negative fifteen dollars and eight cents. So he owed the bank money. He over overdrew his checking account. On Monday morning, he deposited a check for four hundred twenty-six dollars and ninety cents. On Tuesday morning, he deposited another check for a hundred dollars. How much was in Stuart's checking account after the second deposit? So let's draw a number line here just to help us visualize what's going on. So let me draw. And even though once you get enough practice, you won't have to draw these number lines anymore. At least for me, I find it helpful to at least visualize them in my brain when I'm adding and subtracting negative numbers. So he starts with negative fifteen dollars and eight cents in his balance. So if this is zero, that's zero over there. He starts with a negative number. Let me do that in. Let me do that in a reddish color to show that it's you know he's overdrawn his balance. So he starts with negative fifteen dollars and eight cents. Negative fifteen dollars and eight cents. So he's fifteen and eight hundredths to the left of zero. So this the length of this arrow is the absolute value of this, which is fifteen and eight hundredths. So that's that length right over here. Now on Monday morning he deposited a check for four hundred and twenty six dollars and ninety cents. On Monday morning, he deposited a check for four hundred and twenty six dollars and ninety cents. So he started here and we're adding four hundred twenty six ninety to that. So you start here, you start here and you're adding four hundred twenty six dollars and ninety cents to it. And I'm not going to be able to draw it completely to scale, but hopefully it'll give you the right idea. So we're adding four hundred twenty six dollars to it. So the length of this blue arrow, is the four hundred twenty six dollars and ninety cents. So this is a four hundred twenty six four hundred and twenty six dollars and ninety cents. That's what he's adding on Monday. So just after the Monday deposit, how much does he have left? Well if you look at it here, we can just think about it visually. The amount that he has left is going to be the length of this pink arrow right over here. It's going to be this pink arrow right over here. That's the amount that he has left. And how would we calculate the pink arrow? Well, clearly, or maybe hopefully not, well, hopefully it'll become more clear that the the length of this orange arrow plus the length of this pink arrow is equal to this blue arrow. Or another way to think about it is the pink arrow is e the length of the pink arrow, which tells us how far to the right we are of 0, is equal to the length of the blue arrow minus the length of the orange arrow. So this over here is going to be it's going to be 400 26, 426, I'm having trouble writing numbers, 426.90, that's this length, minus the length of the orange arrow. Remember, the length of the orange arrow is just the absolute value. You can't have negative length. It's just going to be 15 minus 15, let me write it here. So minus $15.08. And, and so this is going to be equal to, let's see, we can, this will become a 10, this becomes an 8. So 10 minus 8 is 2, 8 minus 0 is 8. We have lined up the decimal points. 6 minus 1 is, 6 minus 5 is 1, 2 minus 1 is 1, and then 4 minus nothing is 4. So this right here, we are at $411.82. That's how much he had, that's how much he had after Monday. Another way to think about it is it was $426.90 plus negative fifteen dollars and eight cents. If you think of it that way, adding a negative is the same thing as just subtracting the positive. So it's four hundred twenty six ninety minus fifteen oh eight. But hopefully these arrows give you a good visualization of what's happening. So that's where we are after Monday. And then he deposits another check. He deposits another check for a hundred dollars. So we're gonna go from four hundred eleven and eighty two and we're gonna add another hundred. We're going to add another hundred dollars to that. We're going to add another, another hundred dollars, and so that's pretty straightforward. We at, we're at 411 and 82. We're going to add another hundred to it, so plus 100. This is going to be 511 and 82 dollars is how much he has after the second deposit.